So I'm on the dating apps. And uh, you know, on the dating apps, you can actually say whether or not you've been vaccinated, which is great, as we all know. Dating apps are known for their honesty. <laughs> Take it from me, a six foot five doctor. <laughs> I was seeing this girl once and she was like, hey Jay, what's it like being Filipino? And I was like, well, it's like being white except your skin's brown and people treat you differently. Other than that, it's exactly the same. But uh, I'm not uh, super Filipino. Like, uh, I suck at gossiping, which uh, <laughs> Filipinos are great at, from what I hear. <laughs> Uh, like, uh, if I'm in a group of Filipinos and they're like, Jay, you'll never believe what Kat did. And I'm like, yeah, I can. It's Kat. Everyone knows a cat. She's always doing that thing. You know that thing, guys. <laughs> so, but I, this has been my entire life. Because I remember when I was a kid, another Filipino boy called me a Twinkie. <gasps> and if you don't know what that means, that means that you're yellow on the outside, white on the inside. <laughs> Doesn't describe who I am. I'm yellow on the outside, white on the inside, black in my heart. I'm a hostess snack you've never heard of. Innovative, original, still delicious. I also cause diabetes. Uh, so I did see the new Space Jam, which was hard because the original Space Jam is a perfect film to me. Other than the fact that it has way too much R. Kelly in it. <laughs> the film starts off, Michael Jordan's playing basketball with dad, and then the R. Kelly song kicks in. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I love, the, I love saying that because that's the only time I can sing R. Kelly now. <laughs> but the first Space Jam made me want to be the next Michael Jordan. Now, uh, Michael Jordan's six foot six. I am not, so I failed that goal. But here's the thing, I kept trying, I kept practicing, and I got even worse at basketball. Got pretty good at gambling though, just like Mike. <laughs> Michael Jordan is so good at what he does. He's so good at what he does. He's become the now the greatest of all time at whatever you do. It could be the Michael Jordan of podcasting, the Michael Jordan of toy collecting, the Michael Jordan of losing money, which ironically is Michael Jordan. <laughs> but I want to be the Michael Jordan of telling jokes about Michael Jordan. Yeah. I mean, let, me, let me tell you, Michael Jordan is not the Michael Jordan of GMs. Have you guys seen the Charlotte Hornets recently? <laughs> but uh, I did see the new Space Jam because I had to support one of our biggest Filipinos in Hollywood, Daffy Duck. So Daffy Duck is now portrayed by a Filipino voice actor named Eric Bowser. Now he's ours, take full credit, he belongs to us. No take back white people. <laughs> Feels different on the other side, doesn't it? But I, I believe in supporting all Filipinos. Like I'm a big fan of Olivia Rodrigo. We have any Olivia Rodrigo fans here? <laughs> now me and Olivia have so much in common. She's very pretty, I'm very pretty. She has a driver's license. I have a driver's license. <laughs> she hates her ex-boyfriends. I really hate her ex-boyfriends. And uh, we're both Filipino. Olivia is one of those undercover Filipinos. Like you don't find out until two albums later, until she releases her Filipino album. But until then, it's a secret among Filipinos. And now you guys. But there's a lot of undercover Filipinos. Like everyone know Dave Batista, 260 pound pro wrestler dude. Also Filipino. Now, some people are surprised about that, and I don't get why. Me and Dave look so alike. <laughs> but when you guys think of Filipino Jose, I want you to think of Olivia Rodrigo, Dave Batista, and me, Jay Aquino. The two of us are bringing up the average hotness of Filipinos in the world. It's them, guys. It's not me. But um, I'll leave you all with this. I recently found out that I'm one eighth Puerto Rican. I'm one eighth Puerto Rican. <laughs> So I did what anyone would do. I Googled how to be Latino. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta understand, the most Puerto Rican thing about me is that I listen to too much Lin-Manuel Miranda. 